In today's video, I want to share with you some sneakily hidden features in Football Manager 2023. Some quirky little extras that you can find in the game. You could call them Easter eggs, except it seems weird to call them that when it's literally December the 20th as I record this. Little extra Christmas presents we could. That doesn't work, does it? Whatever they're called, let's get into the video. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to have a look at some of the sneakily included extras included in Football Manager 2023. Over the years, the team over at Sports Interactive have included plenty of these little Easter eggs. I can think back to some really old school ones such as Harchester United being included in the game from Dream Team. There's the classic Chelsea flattered on Pancake Day screenshot which I managed to find which is the nice little Pancake Day reference. There's loads of them. There's plenty more where that came from. There's the, the old school classic which I think is still in the game these days of if you play the game on April Fool's Day and end up in game on April Fool's Day, you get told that you're going to get a whole load of money, right? These are all lovely bits of fun. And there are actually a few of these in this year's game as well. I sought to go and find as many of them as I could. And that's what we're going to include in today's video. But before we do get into these Easter eggs, I need to stop and implore you to download the sponsor of today's video, which is once again, OneFootball. A massive thank you to the guys at OneFootball. Please go and download the app by clicking on the link that is in the description of today's video. It will take you to the download and you can download it for free. It's a fantastic football app, which can cover anything you want in terms of an app. You can go and look at the live scores. You can get those notifications sent through to your, your phone. Keep you up to date whilst you're out and about on the move. You can also go and check those team lists, those injury news, those articles about transfers of the January window is about to open. Everything you could need is on the app and I really implore you to go and download it for free using the link that is in the description of today's video. I promise you, you won't regret it. I use it all the time. Please go and download it. Thank you very much to OneFootball for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into these Easter eggs, Christmas presents, whatever we're calling them. First couple of Easter eggs that I've managed to track down are to do with the press conferences and some very subtle references to real life football manager quotes from the likes of Brian Clough with this quote here, which is scarily accurate to one that he said about not being the best manager in the world, but he was in the top one. I love the subtleness of this little inclusion in the game. There was also a Jose Mourinho one talking about being the special one. This goes back a few copies of Football Manager now, but I'm pretty sure it's in FM23 as well. And then most recently, and I think this is my favorite because it's more contemporary and it's very, very meme is that you can do the, the Frank Lampard meme. You can do the, no, but seriously, in Football Manager 2023 is this quote here where he talks about saying, I'm surprised he's on the score sheet because he never scores. No, but seriously, I was happy to see him score a goal. It is so subtle, but it's a really, really nice nod to something that's going on in the real world with Frank Lampard and the memes and things. It's a nice, good from you developers, good. The subtlety of these actually really does make me think that there's probably more of these that I've not come across and that I've not seen on like Reddit or Twitter. I would like you guys really, please keep your eyes out. If you've seen anything that you think might be a little nod to the real world or a little reference somewhere, please do get them in the comments down below this video because I am sure that these two are not the only ones. I'm sure there's other manager quotes in there. Even the Frank Lampard one, I feel like there's more we just haven't found them yet. So keep your eyes out. I'm sure, I'm sure that they've included more. The next Easter egg is one that you may have seen, and it is a nod towards the popular TV series, Ted Lasso. It is one of my favorite series of all time, and it is so much fun. And I love the fact that there's a little reference to it in Football Manager. Of course, it being a football show, you can see the famous Believe sign, as seen here, look, in Football Manager 2023. You could also have this one in FM22 as well. I love it. I actually heard Miles once say that if there was ever a chance of an official partnership with Ted Lasso, he'd be all for it. So fingers crossed that that might be something that we see in the future. For now, we have to make do with this lovely Believe sign, but I think it's quite a nice thing anyway. Let's have a look at the next Easter egg. Next up, did you know it was possible to have a son in Football Manager? That is your manager in game is able to have a son and they will come through your youth intake at your club. This is very rare and it really doesn't happen that often. In fact, I think it's there's certain parameters that need to be met as well. You need to have managed for a certain amount of time. Your manager needs to be over a certain age and then it can happen like once in every 1000 games or something. There is it's really quite rare but it does happen and it definitely is possible. In fact, I can think back to a time when 
this actually happened to me. I had it happen to me once. It was in Football Manager 2019, 2019. And I was playing as Liverpool and I had a player come through my youth intake called Charlie Clayton. And he was utterly dreadful. When I say bad, I mean, he was like Conference South level ability. He was so, so bad. But of course, I did what all proud fathers would do. I stuck him straight in the team, as you would, right? He was so bad, but I was forcing him in. He did once score a goal in the Merseyside derby. So do you know what? I feel like that is a success. It is a really, really cool feature, though, in the game. You are so lucky if it does happen to you, but it definitely can happen. Although, yeah, I see some people trying to make this happen, like try saves coming and trying to get it to happen in their game. I promise you it is possible. It's just very, very rare. Let us know, by the way, if you've ever had a son in, in Football Manager, let us know in the comments down below. How, how good was he? Because is it just the thing that they're always really rubbish? The way you can tell, by the way, just thinking of it, is you can go into their player profile screen and you can see in relationships, it will say your name as the father. You are the father. Very cool. That is the next feature. Did you know this was a thing? Let me know in the comments. Let's move through the next one. I've just had the most vivid memory of playing as the Soccer AM team way back in FM sometime. Maybe it was even Championship Manager. I remember taking, signing tubes for like a, a Premier League team and playing him in every game. And he was so bad. So, so bad. That, that was a thing, right? Another feature, which has been in the game now for a few years, a bit like being able to have a son and a few of the others Easter eggs that we've touched upon already, is that when you get a number of years into your game, when you are starting to have new gens in your team, one of your players can come out to you and come out to the world as gay, which I think is a fantastic feature. There's actually some really cool benefits of one of your players coming out as gay as well. They will be able to increase shirt sales, and I just think it's really, really cool. Again, this will only happen to new gen players once you've got a little bit into your saves, a little further down the line, a few years in. But it's pretty cool, and keep an eye out for it because you might sell a few more shirts, which is cool. And finally, the last Easter egg I'm going to tell you about in today's video is one that we touched upon a little bit earlier. It is the April Fool's one, which I think is, is a classic, isn't it? It's just a classic. You probably know about this one. If you don't, then here you go. This is what it is. If you're playing your game in April, April the 1st, and it turns over and it goes to April the 1st in-game, so it's both in real life and in-game April the 1st, you'll get a little message from your board, which is them telling you that you're going to be given a takeover and all of this money. There's going to be a massive amount of money that you can go and spend. Your transfer budget has been increased, whatever the wording is. You can see it on the screen right here. And yeah, that's just not true. They have April fooled, pranked you. And honestly, every year around this time, you get so many people posting this to the Reddit over on Twitter. And I think it's really, really cool. This is something that only happens on April the 1st. And that's my final Easter egg for today's video. Do you know of any other Easter eggs that I've not touched upon? I'm sure there are more. And over the years, there's been loads. Have you come across any over the years? There's always that one where people say about their player died and all these random things that probably aren't true. But if you've had something weird happen in your saves over the many years of you playing Football Manager, then let me know in the comments down below. Likewise, let me know if you didn't know any of these Easter eggs. If this is news to you, then Hopefully that's a nice fun video for you. Thank you so much for watching today. If you've enjoyed it, if this has been fun for you, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. We're going to do loads of different types of content, a little bit like this, a little bit outside of the normal Football Manager videos. Hopefully you enjoy them. Be subscribed for more of them. Thank you so much. Like the video if you've enjoyed it too. But most importantly, have a lovely, lovely Easter. I mean, Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. I'll, I'll see you soon. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.